Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm gonna show you three advanced training drills. I filmed these training drills when I was at German Bundesliga club ASV Grunen And the two players who you're gonna see, Teodoro from, from Brazil and Juan Perez from Spain, are two very, very good juniors who are hoping to make it as professional players. These training drills, they are difficult, they are advanced, but if you're looking to improve your footwork, your rallying skills, your open play, your serve and your receive, then keep watching. In this first training drill, we're going to play forehand topspin from three different positions. We're going to play forehand topspin from the forehand side, forehand topspin from the middle, forehand topspin from the backhand side. Playing all my forehand topspins to my opponent's backhand. And the drill works like this. We play eight forehand topspins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on that eighth forehand topspin, the blocker, the player who's feeding, can then counter-attack and then the rally is open. This is a very good footwork drill and the key for the player doing the forehand top spins is the footwork. Trying to make enough space to be able to play the forehand with their arm in the same position in relation to their body each time. Okay, so the feet are very, very important. If you don't move enough, you'll end up doing this or end up reaching out like that and you'll lose balance. So it's all about using your feet to get into a good position for each forehand. Now these guys, they're, they're playing very fast, they're top level juniors. So you don't have to play as fast as them. If um, you're trying to do the training drill and it just keeps breaking down, um, just slow your shots down a little bit. Just do the forehands a little bit slower and then you should be able to find that you can keep the training drill going a little bit longer. When it becomes easier and you're not making too many errors, then you can gradually start speeding up your forehand shots again. In this next drill, we're going to do open to the backhand. Now, one player is going to block with their backhand, but they can block the ball anywhere on the other side. The other player is top spinning, but all of their shots needs to go to the other player's backhand. Now the little twist with this is, um, after five or six balls of blocking, when the blocker senses there's a slightly weaker ball from the top spinning player, then the blocker can change from blocking to counter top spin, and then the rally becomes completely open and the players can play anywhere on the table to try and win the point. If you're the player who's top spinning in this drill, then the key really is to make sure you're watching the blocker to see where the next ball is going to be going to and make sure that you've got a good recovery position after each topspin stroke that you play. And putting the two together, watching your opponent and a good recovery position means that you should be able to keep attacking again and again and again. And if you're the blocker, initially you're just returning the topspins with a block, but after five or six shots, you're trying to pick out that slightly weaker ball to attack. So it's a little bit of shot selection you're working on here, choosing the right ball to counter attack, which usually means it's probably a slightly slower ball, slightly higher ball. They're a little bit easier to counter attack. Again, these guys, they're playing 
very fast. So if you're doing this training drill and you're finding it difficult, my best advice is just slow down the top spin shots a little bit to begin with, get into a bit of a rhythm, um, and then when you're finding it easier, you can start speeding the shots back up again. This final training drill involves service and receive, and it works like this. So, one player serves, short, backspin. And the receiver can either touch the ball short anywhere on the table, or push long or flick long to the server's crossover point. Then the rally is open and both players are trying to win the point. And the key here for the receiver is try to be very accurate with the placement. So if doing a touch shot, you're trying to keep the ball low over the net and short on the other side of the table. And if you're gonna go for the put deep push or the flick, you really are trying to get the ball not only deep, but really trying to find that pocket, that crossover position, which is so difficult for the other player to deal with. And what I like about all of these drills is that they finish with some open play. Okay, so take the first one for example. Eight forehands from set positions, but on that eighth ball, then it turns into an open rally. And that's what table tennis is, isn't it? You know, it's open play. So not only are you learning sort of the stroke mechanics and the footwork, you also end up having some open rallies, which is such an essential skill to be able to do well when competing at table tennis. Without doubt, these training drills, they are hard. However, I think if you're playing at that higher intermediate advanced level, then I think these are certainly drills that you could try and do. And as I've said throughout the video, there's nothing wrong with just slowing the shots down initially to be able to get the drill going and then adding some speed in if you're starting to find the drills a little bit easier to do. Thank you very much for watching and thank you to Eula, ASV, Grin Vettersback and Brybar Table Tennis for helping me to make this video. Um, if you liked it, then please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so and I'll have more videos coming soon. I'll see you then. Bye bye.